Dear brothers and sisters, the saints in Christ, welcome to an episode in our series of Abu Krifa books. Uh, today's episode is about the, uh, the book called The Wisdom of Solomon, which actually should not be called The Wisdom of Solomon, but it should be called The Wisdom that the traditional people attributed it falsely to Solomon. Solomon didn't write this book. In fact, some people said the writer or the author is a Greek person and he has great knowledge about the Greek philosophy. I, I think so. However, the Coptic Orthodox said, no, 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 no. It is written by a Jew who used to live in Egypt and he is very much aware of the uh, uh, Greek philosophy. So the Coptic Orthodox wanted like, to put their uh, stamp on it, like to give it like, ah, oh, here we go. All right, but not, not really. All right, let's start. Uh, Father Dawood Lamay said that uh, St. Athanasius approves this book as a canonical book. So let's watch the clip. And as you know, we'll come back again and you'll see he is not saying the truth. All right, so let's watch this and come back again. Every Hikma, you are talking about Suleiman, who is the author of the book, and the انه بيتكلم عن نفسه زي ما حصل في سفر الامثال وفي سفر الجامعة انما بعض المفسرين قالوا يجوز حد نقل عن سليمان وكتب الكلام ده منسوب الى سليمان فكل الاحوال سفر الحكمة معتمد في الكنيسة من الاصفار القانونية موجود في النسخة السبعينية اللي هي النسخة اليونانية للعهد القديم اللي كتبوها السبعين شيخ اليهودي قبل ربنا يسوع له المجد بزيادة عن 200 سنة سفر الحكمة شهد له من أباء الكنيسة الأوائل كلهم تقريبا القديس كليماندوس والقديس أساناسوس والقديس أوسطينوس والقديس أرناوس كل دول شهدوا أن سفر الحكمة من الأصفار القانونية اللي بتقراها الكنيسة وتحبها Alright, so let's see the, uh, uh, the Pascal, episode, episode, uh, Pascal letter of Saint Athanasius number 39 where actually he listed what's canonical what's not canonical at his time from his view or whatever but you know he said Saint Athanasius approves it so let's let's watch this now let's read this together he says in addition to the books which actually the canonical ones that he mentioned in the previous uh, item and he said there are some other books I must let you know uh, that they are not canonical these books are the first one he mentioned the wisdom of Solomon. Thank you very much. So the first book that Saint Athanasius said is not canonical is the wisdom of Solomon. While, as you've seen, Father Dawood Lama says, Saint Athanasius says it's a canonical book. So dear brother and sister, do you believe him? Does he say the truth? He used to say that, I mean the non-truth stuff, and he knows very well people will believe him. He is very famous and he is a priest. But you study, you find out that he is not saying the truth. Okay. Moreover, <laughs> some traditional people, they said, it is written in Hebrew and Solomon is the writer. So my goodness, even, even these tra contradictions now, they contradict themselves. And as long as they contradict themselves, this means the case is, uh, is rejected. All right. Even they called it wisdom of Solomon. And meanwhile, as we say, as we've seen, the Egyptians they say, ah, a Jew lived in, in Egypt and he is aware of the uh, of the uh, uh, Greek philosophy. So, so what is it now? Anyway, because plenty of them they say, ah, it is by Solomon. That's why even they call, call it the the wisdom of Solomon. If it is written by Solomon, they, and even they assure it is in Hebrew, not in Greek. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Because this means what? Should be found, accepted or rejected by Ezra. Because if it is by Solomon, Solomon is about 500 years before Ezra. And don't tell me Ezra missed it. Because this means Ezra missed many, many, many books. And why you say Ezra missed it? Why not to say Ezra rejected it? Why all this? Troubles about the uh, about this book. So mentioned that in the very uh, first uh, episode, the, because there are some stuff in these books which are heresies, 
and the religion people believed in it, that's why you would like to say, ah, oh, these books are all right, because these books supporting their heresies. All right, let's continue anyway. The book actually is, uh, you can divide it into two big sections. It is all 19 chapters. Nine chapters about one topic and 10 about another topic. The very first nine chapters talking about wisdom as uh, we can say uh, as a character or as uh, of course not a physical person as a character not a virtue all right but it it, it dwells in the body and the, the the soul of human so let's read some of these as examples as some examples one two three yeah some examples for wisdom will not enter a malicious into a malicious soul nor dwell in a body subject to sins so we can see now it enters and it dwells all right and by the way it, it, it doesn't look like it, it is any of uh, any person of the trinity all right as we continue to see more second one for the spirit of wisdom is benevolent b e n e v o l e n t and they will not acquaint the evil speaker from his lips for god is witness for his reigns r e i n s and he is a true searcher of the of his heart and a hearer of his tongue so again now it shows that the the wisdom is a spirit and it can enter the body and it can it will into in the soul now next one is a bit long but yes we can we we'll learn some stuff from it wisdom is glorious okay great and they never fades away so it's a character like it's a person but definitely not a physical person all this shows that this person is a greek person and this is some of the philosophy of greek when they look to the wisdom as a god by the way greek they believe in gods and half gods all right and believe that uh, zeus for example is the uh, father of the gods and after that there are some gods and they consider there is a god for wisdom and they consider this is like uh, like a sub god uh, for wisdom uh, sometimes they take some of that uh, very good uh, attributes of god and they make those attributes uh, sub gods and they give every god like a shave or uh, like uh, uh, like uh, even a statue or something like that so wisdom is glorious and it never fades away and is easily seen by them that love her and is found by them that seek her she reveals herself to them that covet her so that she first showed herself uh, unto, uh, unto them he that awakes early to seek her shall not labor for he shall find her sitting at his door to think therefore upon her is perfect understanding and he that watches for her shall quickly be secure for she goes about seeking such as are worthy of her and she showed herself to them cheerfully in the ways and meet them with all providence for the beginning of her is the most true desire of disciple of discipline and the care and the care of discipline is love and love is the keeping of her laws and the keeping of her laws this means wisdom has some laws that you have to follow uh, is uh, is the firm foundation of incorruption and incorruption brings near to god therefore the desire of wisdom brings to the everlasting kingdom and this in chapter six now i understand uh, like uh, it, it the wisdom is like a, a, a separate or uh, yeah yeah a separate uh, character not of course physical and it has in own ways and the, uh, it leads people and uh, it shows herself to those who desire here okay so as per above it is obvious that the author is writing about wisdom as a person different from the christian uh, trinity 
All right. Now we come to the second part. Actually, this will reveal like this book is totally uh, like a human made one and actually written by a person who got plenty of information about the Old Testament but did not read it and could be like heard like some uh, I would say uh, folklore or some uh, fairy tales story in the form of poems uh, like myths stuff about the Old Testament because we'll see plenty of mistakes and you will notice also we'll never mention any of the names of the uh, people that he will that he will mention them in the second part the second part is important because it, 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 you'll find plenty of mistakes from the Bible and by the way that's why and this is considered still the wisdom uh, when father Dawood was talking about this sometimes he refer when, when he face when sometimes he refers to in a sit in a, in a certain situation he says uh, wisdom here is the Holy Spirit wisdom here is Jesus wisdom here is God himself wisdom here is the miracle wisdom here is the hand of God because it's a big mess so when we read you'll find it uh, we find it very easy so let's now read uh, part of uh, chapter 10 and part of chapter 16 as well uh, sheep, th this is the wisdom talking, uh, or, or the person talks about wisdom. What did she do for, uh, uh, for people as of creation? She reversed, she preserved him that was first formed by God. So she's talking about Adam, but he did not mention the name Adam. The father of the world, when he was created alone, so far is okay now understand it's talking about Adam but without mentioning the name why don't mention the name I think because too many information too many myth stories so the names were mixed in the in the mind in the mind of the person so he, he tried like to type it like to write and do, without mentioning names now listen to this and she brought him out of his sin by the way this is the first verse in chapter 10 about like so did actually wisdom save him from the, from from his sin no of course not he, he actually he was kicked out because of his sin and we suffer because of that sin today and it says and they gave him power to govern all things and also the, now the sequence also is wrong because actually lord god himself yahweh elohim himself gave adam the authority all over everything in the beginning before Adam fell all right so the sequence is wrong and also and say it, it saved him from his sin no Adam was not say, saved from his sin and after that uh, was given the, the, the uh, like the, the authority Adam was uh, saved from his sin after Jesus actually uh, uh, went to the cross next one but when the unjust went away from her in his anger he perished by the fury wherewith he murdered his brother this means what now wisdom is talking about whom about cain who killed who killed his brother uh, uh, abel all right so i repeat this again so I understand because after that we'll find some wrong stuff all right but when the unjust this is cain went away from her in his anger he perished by the fury wherewith he murdered his brother. For whose, now whose means what? Cain. For whose cause when water destroyed the earth. Now this is a mistake. Now talking about the flood, of course. The flood came not because of Cain's mistake or, or or sin actually it came because the whole world that time the world was so much it happened hundreds of years after uh, the, the event of cain and abel so but, but when it says for whose co for whose cause when water destroyed the earth this is wrong now this the water of the earth did not come because of him it came because of the whole uh, world and happened later very much later Wisdom healed it again, like healed the uh, 
uh, the the uh, the land or the uh, or planet Earth, directing the course of the just by uh, a, a tribal wood, like a, like a, talking about the uh, uh, the arc of course. But again, wisdom didn't do this. The Lord Himself, God Himself, ordered. Uh, 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 Noah to build the ark, but not the, we cannot say the wisdom. Especially sometimes, as we read before, it differentiates the author differentiates between wisdom and God. So now he is talking only about about wisdom, not about God. So this is wrong. Number number three. Moreover, moreover, listen to this. When the nations had conspired together to consent to wickedness she knew the just and preserved him without blame to God and kept him strong against the compassion for his son now understand he's talking he's, he's, he, the author talking about what about Abraham going to sacrifice his son right but again there is mistakes in this what does it say we read it again moreover when the nations had conspired together to consent to wickedness she knew the just this is Abraham and preserved him Abraham without blame to God uh, and kept him like strong and he, uh, like he did not uh, uh, get um, like emotional and he said I will not uh, uh, offer my son as a sacrifice but the problem is we don't read in the Bible that while Abraham was going in his way that some people it says the nations conspired against him to stop him from offering his son you understand because it says the the, the the when the nations had conspired together to consent to the wickedness she knew the just that abraham and preserved him like to not like to to, to go to, to go and do <coughs> uh, to offer him his son as a sacrifice in fact even he did not tell sarah because it would be a big problem if sarah knew she wouldn't let him take isaac for that by the way so this story again is wrong and he didn't mention the name all right so i think the guy just was listening to some fairy tales stories and just he was writing them like uh, in in a philosophical way philosophical way next she delivered the just man now it means lot who fled from the wicked that were perishing when the fire came down upon Pentapolis the five cities this is in chapter 10 who delivered Lot delivered, Lot was delivered by two angels by God he sent the two angels but not wisdom Uh, next one he forsook not the just when he was sold now talking about Joseph but delivered the, the but delivered him from sinners she went down with him into the pit what does it mean that the wisdom went with Joseph to the pit by the way father the Lama said this is Jesus went with him to, uh, <laughs> into the pit all right but he he says wisdom and didn't mention his name again now listen to the last one which is really really, really a, a fantastic one instead of which things you fed your people you fed your people with the food of angels now talking about the manna and he gave them bread from heaven prepared without labor so he gave them the food without like they had didn't have to, to do any work having in it all that is delicious and the sweetness of every taste this is not quite correct but we'll see the disaster further up for your substance showed your sweetness to your children and serving every man's will it was turned to what every man liked it you understand it says talking about the people uh, being in the like in the wilderness and the manna came from heaven okay that's good but it says the manna was turned 
when, when someone eats it, it turned into his mouth whatever every man or every person desired to eat. Like uh, you eat the manna, but today you, you want to have like a fried chicken, then you will, uh, you will taste it as fried chicken. Uh, today you want it like uh, a barbecue shops, you will have barbecue shops. Uh, today uh, you want melukhiya, it will be melukhiya. Of course, the Jews uh, know about melukhiya from Asia. Uh, so this is again is wrong. This is actually, I would say, coming again. When you take a story from the Bible, you try to make it like uh, a fairy tale story, uh, like to add, to add some stuff, and from your imagination, you add some stuff here and there, and then you, you come with what? A totally distorted story. So this is exactly what happened. So by the way, the 10 chapters, the second 10 chapters, all like that, every single line, there is a problem with it. Because coming from a fa like a background of a fairy tale story, all right, not the not the true story that actually mentioned in the uh, Holy Bible. Accordingly, this book definitely not written by Solomon, not written by any uh, uh, I would say Jew, unless a Jew that uh, who is into uh, fairy tale stuff. But even a Jew would mean, I think, would mention the names. But I, so I think now he is a Greek person, lived whatever. Uh, uh, it's a big mess. But definitely, you might have your own say who could wrote this book. But definitely, the book is full of mistakes. All right, all right. So it was a short one. I hope that you like it and learn something from it. Uh, pray for our brothers and sisters that they believe this stuff because of those priests telling them uh, not the truth pray for the channel subscribe to it if you haven't like the video if you think it like it's worth it and share it with others if you can and unless the lord comes we'll meet again another episode may the lord be with you all